हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेस्ट आई टी सोल्यूशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू अगेन एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जावा दैट इज न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ जावा नाइन सो व्हाट आर द न्यू फीचर लॉन्च इन जावा नाइन वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन ओके सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ न्यू फीचर्स आर एक्चुअली लॉन्च इन जावा नाइन सो विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ देम इन डिटेल्स सो न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ जावा नाइन आर फर्स्ट वन इज मॉड्यूलर सिस्टम and another one is like a new http client a new http client is uh, released that is quick get request another one is like process api process information and process and destroying how we can in initiate the process and how we can destroy the process that's also a launch we will discuss uh, details on by one another one is like another thing is like small language modification so try with resources डायमंड ऑपरेटर एक्सटेंशन इंटरफेस प्राइवेट मेथड वी कैन डिक्लेयर प्राइवेट मेथड इन साइड द इंटरफेस ओके एंड अनदर थिंग इज लाइक जे एस एल अनदर वन इज लाइक जे सी एम डी सब कमांड एंड मल्टी रेजोल्यूशन इमेज ए पी आई अनदर इज ए पब्लिश सब्सक्राइब फ्रेमवर्क एंड नंबर नाइन इज यूनिफाइड जे भी एम लॉगिंग यूनिफाइड जे भी एम लॉगिंग ऑल्सो रिलीज एंड नंबर टेन इज न्यू ए पी आई दैट इज ए म्यूटेबल सेट एंड हाउ टू गेट इम्यूटेबल सेट एंड ऑप्शनल टू स्टेम ओके सो दिज आर द टेन न्यू फीचर्स लॉन्च इन जाभा नाइन एंड विल डिस्कस ऑन ऑन बाई वन इन डिटेल्स ओके ओके गाई सो लेट स्टार्ट सो दि फास्ट वन इज मॉड्यूलर सिस्टम सो व्हाट इज ए मॉड्यूलर सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ ए दिग वन बी ब्रिंगिंग मॉड्यूलरिटी टू दि जाभा प्लेटफॉर्म so a modular system provides capabilities similar to osgi framework system okay so a modular system is a, is a system that is provides the capability similar to osgi framework system so we can uh, break down a big application into individual modules and we can assemble them uh, latin later point of time so modules have a concept of dependencies can export a public api and keep implementation details hidden or private so modules have a concept of dependencies can export a public api and can keep implementation details hidden and or private okay so modules can uh, it is a capability of modules to uh, keep the implementation details hidden or private so okay, these are these are, uh, these are actually one of the adv- most advantage of the modular system one of the main motivations here is to provide modular jvm which can run on devices with a less available memory okay one of the main motivation of modular system is that it can uh, provide a, a modular to jvm which can run on devices with with a less available memory okay and uh, the uh, another is like in the jvm could run with only those modules and apis which are required by the application okay so the jvm also could run with only those modules and apis which are required by the application also jvm internal implementations apis like com.son are no longer accessible from application code okay so this com.son microsystem this com.son package are no longer available in the application code okay so it, is, it divides into small small modules simply the modules are going to be described in a file called module info.java okay so this simply the modules are going to be described in a file called module info.java Which is located in the top of the Java code hierarchy. Java code is located in the top of the uh, Java code hierarchy. Okay. So here you can see in this uh, code snippet example, module com dot based IT solutions dot Java nine dot modules dot car. So requires com dot based IT solutions dot Java nine dot modules dot engine. Exports com dot based IT solutions Java dot modules dot car dot handling. Okay. So this is the example of mod- modular system. and the second one is the second new features is the a new http client so uh, a new http client is uh, launched so i uh, after a long time long outed re- replacement of the old http url connections as uh, released in java 9 the new api is located under the java. java.net.http package so in the new api http client api is located under the java.net.http package it should be support both http2 protocol and web socket handshake with performance that should be comparable with the apache http client netty and jty okay so it should support both http2 protocol 
the new http request the new http client support the both the http2 protocol and websocket as well with performance that should be comparable with the apache http client netty and jetty so it should be okay, comparable with the apache http client netty and jetty yeah, all the servers okay let's have a look at this new functionality by creating and sending a simple http request so there is suppose there is opted request the http client jp is being moved to incubator module so it is no longer available in the package so as example or code snippet of quick get request okay so new http module there is a, a point is that is quick get request how we can create a quick get request see the api uses the builder pattern which makes it really easy for quick use so the api use the builder pattern which makes it really easy for quick use so here we have created an object of http request http request then the object name is request equal to http request dot new builder dot uri new uri http dot be static solution dot com slash get and dot get dot build so we have uh, created an object with this uh, uri with the builder connection and after let us stay we can get the response as http response as a string response equal to http client dot new http client dot send request HTTP response dot body handler dot as string so we can uh, it will return the response and store in the response object okay so this uh, in this way we can use the quick get request uh, of the new HTTP request of the Ava 9 feature so another important feature is that is process API so the process API has been improved for controlling and managing operating system processes. So the process API has been improved for controlling and managing operating system processes. So process information, first point is process information. The class java.lang.process handle contains most of the new functionality. So the java, the class java.lang.process handle that it contains the most of the new functionality functionalities of regarding the process. So there is like uh, process handle is a class. There is self object process handle dot current. It will return the current process. Then we can get the uh, process ID uh, by using the self dot uh, get process ID method, get PID method. We can also get the collect the information regarding the process by using the self dot uh, info method. So it will uh, process handle dot info process info equal to self dot info. And also by using this process info object, we can get the arguments, we can set the, we can also get the command line, we process start instance and the total CPU durations. All these things we can uh, get from this uh, process info object and the process info object can be created with the self.info. Self object is created with the, um, by the process handle, it is the object of process handle, process handle dot uh, current, in this way we can get the self object and with the help of self object we can get the process id and the information regarding the uh, all the information regarding that process the current method returns an object representing a process of currently running jvm the info subclass provides details about the process the info uh, method provides the details about the process and the second point is uh, like destroying the process how we can destroy a process so after creating the process now let's stop all the running child process using destroy method using the destroy method we can also stop the or kill the all the running processes so here is the code snippet like you can see child process equal to child process handle dot current it will create the current face the current process dot children and then child process dot for each process handle uh, by using the uh, uh, lambda expression we can uh, call that process handle dot destroy so it will uh, destroy the, all the um, running child processes the fourth uh, concept of java 9 is small language modifications okay so there are some uh, modifications in our uh, java language also so first one is try with resource so in tr actually try with resource has uh, launched in java 7 but uh, in java 9 some modifications are made so in java 7 the try with resources syntax requires a phrase variable to be declared for each resource being managed by the statement so we 
to managing these resources it, it we need to declare a phase variable but in java 9 there is an additional re refinement if the resource is referenced by final or effectively final variable a try with resource statement can manage a resource without a new variable being declared so without a new var if the resource is referenced by final or uh, effectively final variable then a try with resource statement can manage a resource without a new fresh variable declarations okay so this is the advantage of the try with resource made in java 9 So here is an uh, like a code snippet for your uh, reference or example. You can uh, see here my auto closable Mac object equal to new my auto closable. Here we have created a Mac object, and we have since this is reference, we have passed the reference to the uh, try uh, method. So here try and we pass the reference. So and so the same things we can uh, you create in the uh, like Java nine. We need not to create that Mac object previously. Directly in try method, we can pass. The, we can create the object like try new my auto closable dot final wrapper dot final closable. So since that reference is final, we can directly pass that uh, uh, reference directly. No need to create that uh, reference uh, previously. Okay, so this is the advantage of the uh, try with resource. Another uh, second uh, uh, second uh, change is diamond operator extension. So now, <coughs> sorry, now we can use diamond operator in conjunction with anonymous inner classes. So we can uh, use the diamond diamond operator in conjunction with the anonymous inner class. But previously we cannot use this feature. So uh, here is a code snippet. Uh, for example, foo class integer uh, fc object equal to new foo class. Anonymous inner class. So this is the create an anonymous inner class. Foo class extend integer equal to new foo class. So this is the anonymous inner class we can pass here. And foo class f c one equal to new foo class anonymous inner class. So in this way we can uh, we use the diamond operator in conjunction with the anonymous inner class. So another thing is interface private method. So this is a very important uh, concept comes. In Java 9, that is, we can uh, declare a um, private method inside the interface because previously interface we know interface uh, only contains public method, uh, public method and variable, final variable. But in, in Java 9, we can also create private method inside the interface. So interface in the upcoming JVM version can have private method, which can be used to split lengthy default method. So here is the code snippets for creating the uh, private methods inside the interface. There is a interface like uh, interface interface with private method uh, created interface whose name is interface with private. You can uh, any, give any name. Just for example, interface interface with private method private string string on uh, private variables have declared. Uh, um, sorry, private static string plus static private. So one static private method is uh, created here. Return static private. One string it will uh, uh, return. Private string instant private instant private method return default void check string result to static private. We can call the static private method. And interface with private methods uh, we have created the object. We will equal to new interface with private methods and anonymous class we can create here. Since we are not able to create the object, we directly can create the anonymous class here. So result will be the instance private method. Okay, so in this way we can uh, create the private method inside the interface. Okay, you can uh, take this code by yourself also. It will work. Another important concept is JSL. Okay, so JSL is uh, like read, eval, print loop. So REPL for short. So JSL uh, for short we can um, call it as a J read, eval, print loop. So simply, it is an interactive tool to evaluate declarations, statements, and expressions of Java together with an API. So simply, the JSL it is an interactive tool. JSL is an interactive tool <coughs> to evaluate declarations, statements, and expressions of Java together with an API. It is a very convenient for testing small code snippets, which otherwise require creating a new class with the main method so it is a very convenient for testing small code snippets for testing the small code snippet the jsl is very usable which otherwise requires creating a new class with the 
main method otherwise if gcl is not there we need to create a new class with the main method for testing this course small code snippet the gcl executable itself can be found in java home um, slash bean folder in java bean folder the gcl executable itself can be found so here is a code snippet of gcl where the executable java jdk 9 bean gcl dot executable file is there welcome to gcl version 9 Okay, so these are the you can uh, check it. The interactive cell comes with history and auto completion. It also provides functionality like saving to and loading from files, all or some of the written statements. Okay, so it is also provides functionality like saving and loading from files, all or some of the written statements. Okay, so this is the uh, example like hello JSON. Copy code snippets are executable executed upon. file loading <coughs> sorry so jcmd sub command so there is some there is jcmd so some sub commands in jcmd library also released so let's explore some of the new sub commands in jcmd command line utility so we will get a list of all classes loaded in the jvm and their inheritance uh, inheritance structure okay so in j by using the jcmd sub commands we can get the list of all classes loaded in the jvm and their inheritance structures also we can get in the example below we can see the hierarchy of java.lang.socket loaded in jvm running in the eclipse neon id okay okay so this is the uh, uh, when we have run the jcmd uh, sub commands like jcmd 14056 bm.class hierarchy it will return all these uh, sockets uh, of uh, code snippet okay so uh, here uh, the first parameter of jcmd command is the process id so the jcmd first parameter is jcmd command is the process id of the jvm on which we want to run the command so process id another interesting sub command is set vm flag we can also set the uh, virtual memory flag we can modify some jvm parameters online without the need of restarting the jvm process and modifying its startup parameter you can find out all the variables vm flags with sub commands jcmd 1405 1405 is the process id okay so first parameter is process first parameter of the jcmd command is the process id so 14056 so jcmd 14056 the process id vm dot flags all so it will return all the uh, available uh, vm flags the seventh uh, new feature is multi resolution image api okay so the interface java.awt.image.multi resolution image encapsulates a set of images with different resolutions into a single object so in uh, the multi resolution encapsulates a so the java.awt.image.multi resolution in this package this uh, encapsulates multi resolution image uh, api encapsulates A set of images with different resolutions into a single object. Different resolution images, uh, resolution resolution images converts into a single object. We can retrieve a resolution specific image variant based on a given DPI metric and set of image transformations or retrieve all the variants in the image. So we can retrieve a resolution specific image variant based on a given dpi metric and set of image transformations or retrieve all of the variants in the image another thing is the java.awt.graphics package class uh, graphics class uh, gets variant from a multi resolution image based on the current display image dpi metric and any applied transformations so the java.awt package contains a class graphics class gets variant from a multi resolution image based on the current display with dpi metric and any applied transformation the class java.awt.image base multi resolution image provides basic implementations in this way these are the code snippet of basic is uh, multi resolution image provides this basic implementation okay so you can uh, follow this code snippet also another uh, concept is publish subscribe framework okay so publish subscribe framework the class java.util.concurrent.flow the flow class java.util.concurrent.flow provides interface that supports the reactive streams publish subscribe framework 
So the Java dot util dot concurrent dot flow class provides interfaces that support the reactive streams publish subscribe framework. Reactive streams publish subscribe framework. These interfaces support interoperatively across the, across a number of asynchronous systems running on JVMs. These interfaces support interoperatively across a number of asynchronous systems running on JVMs. We can use utility class submission publisher to create custom components. We can use utility class submission publisher to create custom components. Okay, so we can use utility class submission publisher to create custom components. We can use utility class submission publisher to create custom components. Unify another concept is unified JVM logging. Okay, so JVM logging also unified JVM logging. So these features introduce a common logging system for all components of the JVM. So it, these features provide say introduce a common logging system for all components of the JVM. It provides the infrastructure to do the logging, but it does not add the actual logging calls from all the JVM components. It provides infrastructure to do the logging, but it does not add the actual logging calls from all the JVM components. It also does not add logging to Java code in the JDK. It also does not add the logging to Java code in the JDK. The logging framework defines a set of tags. For example, GC, compiler, thread, etc. So the logging framework, framework defines a set of tags. For example, GC, compiler, thread, etc. We can use the command line parameter like uh, hyphen x log to turn on logging during startup. To turn on logging during startup, we can uh, use the command line parameter x log to turn on logging during the startup. Let's log messages tagged with GC tag using debug label to a file called gc.txt with no decoration. So let's log messages tagged with GC tag using debug label to the file called gc.txt with no declaration. So this is the code snippet. Xlog colon help will output possible options and example. So logging configurations can be modified runtime using the JCMD command line. So we are going to set GC logs to info and redirect them into a file GC logs. So JCMD, so we can run the GCMD subcommand JCMD for proceed in 9615 bm.log output GC logs what equal to GC. And the uh, last features is that is new APIs. Two new APIs are also launched in uh, our uh, Java 9 that is immutable set and this is optional, optional class. So immutable, so what is immutable set? So java.util.set.off, there is the off method to create an immutable set of a given element. So by using this off method, we can create immutable set or immutable list also we can create. Immutable means we cannot modify uh, this list or set in later stage. So in Java 8, creating a set of several elements would require several lines of code. Now we can do it as a simple as okay so in java 8 before java 9 to create a list or set we need to write write a number of lines like set dot add set dot add set dot add we need to add number of elements but in java 9 simply by using this off method we can pass the values there directly like like an array we can in like initializing the array so here set of strings str key set equal to set dot off key 1 key 2 key 3 so that this is the immutable set. The set returned by this method is JVM internal class java .util immutable collection dot set n, which extends public java .util abstract set. It is immutable it, if we try to add or remove elements, an unsupported operation exception will be thrown. So it will immutable. It is immutable. We cannot add or remove element from this set. So if we will try to remove or add, it will throw an unsupported operation exception. You can also convert an entire array into a set with the same method. So we can also convert entire array into a set with the same method. We can also create immutable list also by using the list.off method, which is the features of Java 9. So this off method is a very important method learned in Java 9. And the last one is the optional to stream. 
So in optional class launched in Java 8 and in the optional to stream this is features is launched in Java 9. So java.util.optional.stream gives us an easy way to use the power of streams and on optional elements. So in optional elements we can use this optional.stream gives an easy way to use the power of streams. So here is an example of optional list string filter list equal to list of optional dot stream dot flat map optional uh, scope resolution operator stream dot call it collector to list. Okay, so in this way we can also use the optional to stream. So uh, these are the uh, uh, 10 new features of Java 9. Okay, so more features also may be there, but I have uh, point out some important and uh, new features of Java 9 and so thank you guys if you have any questions you can mention in the comment sections and another thing is if you have uh, you think that you have some you have got some knowledge from this uh, video so please uh, like and share the video with your friends and please please subscribe this channel by which i can motivate myself i can make more and more video on this uh, this type of topic uh, for you okay so thank you guys